Hello everybody and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We are on a skid pad, slide boy skid pad to be exact, in one of my streetcars. And we're going to be doing something different today. We're going to be taking the Mazda R9 base and putting it through a bunch of different wheel rotations for drifting. We're going to be going from 360 degrees, maybe up to 2000. So if you guys are new to the channel, I'd appreciate if you hit that subscribe button if you like this content. If you guys are returning, I do appreciate you coming back for another video. Do me a favor, hit that like button. So without further ado, let's get to it. So for sake of reference, we're gonna take take the car out. And we're gonna do a single lap on our normal 900 degree wheel rotation, our normal drift rotation. And we're gonna go full send with it just to get a good base on it. It's been a minute since I've been on this skid pad and in these streetcars, so gotta woo, get a little bit of reacclimation. That, that turn is actually quite hard to take, so we may run it a different way. So, definitely a fun little skid pad but we are going to be changing our wheel rotation. So that's really what we're going to be doing here today is going different wheel rotations because I'm very curious on it. So we're going to park it up. And we're going to change our wheel rotation here. We're going to open up the Mazda app. It's a Mazda app pulled up here. So we have all of our normal settings. We're going to dial this mechanical dampening down just a smidge. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down to 360. So now we are on 360 degrees of rotation. This is going to be a little bit difficult, I feel. This is going to be we're on full max torque output. We got our hand protection off. Reverse game force feedback inertia. Okay. Uh, let's back a smidge more. There we go. So 360 degrees. It's kind of like, I would say, almost like a Forza style wheel rotation. Oh geez. Yeah, this is gonna be it's gonna be pretty difficult because you can see the wheels are just instantly locked to lock. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to turn much at all. Full send, right? Oh man, I can't hit so much understeer. <laughs> this is actually really hard to drift in 360 degrees because I'm losing a lot of lock there. And it's kind of just going straight to lock and it's kind of oscillating. Nope. So 360 is not. Oh man, this is a struggle. 360 degrees off my forte massive lockup definitely having a hard time drifting on 360 degrees kind of just lock to lock i mean i guess if you get used to it you could do it but i'm definitely not used to 360 so we're gonna add a little bit more rotation we need a little bit more rotation we're gonna go up to 540 which is GT setting, but we're going to go 540. So now we have a little more rotation. Not much more, but a little more. So we're going to see if we can drift to 540. Okay, not as bad. Because it's not instant lock to lock, so... This track's much better if you just float it out this way. Oh man. So we can drift on 540. 360 I think is a little bit too short and not enough. So we're able to do 540 quite, quite well actually. Oh, still get that little bit of oscillation when it comes to a little bit too much um, on the steering initially. 
All right, so we can drift 540. So now we're gonna bump it up again. We can go up to 720, which we're getting closer to what we're normally used to. So 720 is a lot closer to what I'm used to. I mean, we, we drive a 900, but 720 still seems a little bit short. But it's definitely manageable. All right, so 720 is very manageable. 540 was manageable, but 720 is much more manageable. We're not gonna go to 900 because we were already on 900. We're gonna go past 900. A lot of people have been asking me if I've been drifting on 1080. So I think we're gonna go up to 1080, and then we'll go up from there. This wheel rotation can go all the way up to 2,000 degrees of rotation, which I think would be a very astronomical and probably way too hard to drive. And we may have some issues, but we're gonna see. So we're gonna go back into Mazda. We're just gonna type it in. We're gonna type in 10, 10, 80. Oh, nope, not set, okay. We're trying to get to 1080, that's 1180. Okay, 1080. A lot of people say drift on 1080. Definitely a lot more. So, we're gonna go full send on 1080 now. I feel like it's not far off of 900, but there is definitely more wheel rotation. Jeez, you wouldn't realize how much going from 9 to 1080 feels. It's a big difference. I feel like you could be smoother in 1080? Because you have a little bit more fine tuned adjustments? I'm gonna have to start trying to drive in 1080. Hmm. We may have to start driving 1080. So now we're going up into the crazy numbers. We're just gonna do it. We're gonna go jump straight to 1200. 1200 degrees of wheel rotation. That's, that is, that is so much. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to spin that wheel fast enough. All right, 1200 degrees of wheel rotation. So far so good. Oh, yep. Oh, jeez. There's where you can see where the wheel just starts going ham. We're going lock to lock because you have such a long distance to go around, as you can see. But, you know, we're somewhat, somewhat getting it on 1200. Oh. Oh, man. Not easy to make corrections, though, on 1200. Kind of really got to chuck the wheel. <laughs> The 1200 is manageable. I want to try that again. We're gonna try another one at 1200 degrees. We're getting into these super crazy numbers that are definitely very, very interesting. So from a straight line initiation, it's not terrible. But once you're in drift, going from lock to lock in a quick manner is where I don't think I can get the wheel to spin fast. Like personally, you gotta kinda of chuck it. Here we go. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta chuck the wheel. I, I bet you if I had a much larger wheel, this would be even harder if you had a three, like a 350 wheel. Maybe you could chuck it faster. Oh, oh yep. Oh, jeez. Okay. So, <laughs> we're gonna go even higher. Uh, I don't know why, but we're gonna go even higher. Because I told you we're gonna probably go up to 2,000 degrees. So, we're going up even more. We're gonna go 1,500 degrees, 1,510. So 1,510 degrees of rotation. So we have a total of one, two, three, four, four and a quarter 
turns. Lock to lock. Okay, I don't even know if we're centered. We are. So four and a quarter turns. So basically, two turns from center. Oh my gosh. This is not, this is not going to be a good time. Oh, yep. Nope. <laughs> that is a lot of rotation. Oh my gosh. I can only imagine 2,000. I have a feeling I'm going to like weak out my wheel or something. It's like we're drifting a semi truck right now. It's really hard to keep the minute details when you're drifting it. You do not want a full handbrake, really, at all. 1500 degrees, as you can see, is challenging. But, we're somewhat managing it? We are on a skid pad, though. Try putting this on a, a competition style course. I bid you good luck! <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright. So, I think it's time to go all the way up to 2,000 degrees, which is what's max on the Pit House app. And I am not sure how this is going to work. Because we're going to go all the way to lock. And we're just gonna take this for where it is right here. It's one, two, three, four, five. Basically five and a half degrees of steering. I think that's straight. Five and a half rotations. Okay. Don't know how this is gonna work. We're gonna leave it on this full cam. I have no idea how this is gonna work. This is gonna be a lot of rotation. I'm gonna try and focus this up a little more. There we go. So, five full turns of rotation. Oh my. I'm surprised we even made one turn. There's no way. There's absolutely no way. I think I'm gonna be able to get a smooth turn with this. I probably could if I stayed low angle. Just look how much it rotates. This is uh This is something else. Nope. And then when you come out of drift, it's really hard to fix it. So we're gonna go back and see if we can even try to complete a lap on 2,000 degrees of steering rotation. This is not something you should be doing. <laughs> just look how much it had a turn just to get into that one turn. Basically almost three times. It's just gonna handbrake in <laughs> basically have to spin my wheel like I would be from lock to lock just to go to one lock all right we're gonna try and do this without throwing so much angle we gotta come somewhat through the lap nope don't hit brakes yep I don't think I can drift on 2,000 degrees so if you do have a drag drive and you can go up to 2,000 degrees, I'd be very curious to see if you guys can uh, complete a said lap on either a skip pad or something in 2,000 degrees smoothly because I can complete like a turn, like see a turn here and there. But when it comes to trying to rotate it back the other way, it's almost next to impossible and I cannot follow a track whatsoever so a little bit of something different a little bit of fun doing some stupid amounts of rotation here on a set of Corsa make sure you guys follow me on all social media all of which are found in the description box below big thank you once again to Mazda Racing for this base and the ability to do this 
and go all the way up to 2,000 degrees of rotation. So, as always, I'd like to thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.